Hello everyone, this is your non-spoiler Ralph Breaks the Internet review. I am Perry and I'm here with our very own collider, Wreck-It Ralph. It's John Roca. That's true. I'm gonna wreck it! <laughs> yeah, that, that pretty much sums up life here. Uh, so, in case you don't know, as the title implies, this movie brings us back to Ralph and Vanellope and their friendship, but mm. instead of staying in the arcade world, it brings them out into the gigantic, colorful, Disney-filled world of mm -hmm. the internet. So it's about their adventure there. And I'll say right off the top yep. here, I thought this was a really smart way to continue the story. Mm -hmm. Disney Animation isn't really in the market of making sequels for a lot of their movies, mm -hmm. but this one, given what we got in it, seems to really deserve it, both with Opening their world up to the internet, I think, is just genius because we basically all live on the internet right now. Yeah. And also what that adventure does to their friendship. It's mm -hmm. not a it's not just about, oh, look at all the cool world building we can do and how many places we could put a Disney property in this movie. It's about testing their relationship as they start to find out that there's new things out mm -hmm. there, new possibilities. And I loved the development of that. Yeah, well, it's interesting, too, because the first film is very much about, like, appealing to that child person inside of you, like, breaking out, wanting to, just because you think you're a bad guy, maybe you're playing a bad guy, you might not be a bad guy, discovering who you are as a person and loving who you are as a person. Now, what's the next step of your development is understanding, you know, how to have a friendship that isn't selfishly driven by your desire to just keep repeating the same thing over and over again, or relationships, same thing. So it gets a bit darker, which I really enjoyed, in exploring how your insecurities can really affect your relationship relationship. Yeah. So I really appreciated that about the movie and the progression of their friendship and where they end up by the end of the movie. Still very powerful. And some great cameos or actually great work by Gal Gadot in that uh, in that, and uh, Tazari P. Uh, Taraji Taraji P. Hansen, Hansen, sorry. Yeah. As yes. Great stuff all around. Great voiceover work. And even Alan Tudyk makes a reappearance as he Mr. Knows More, yeah. which is good. So this, this, I agree with you, Perry. A lot great here to enjoy. Too. Yeah, it's great like everyone work. across the board. I was surprised by uh, how uh, Gal Gadot had such a big, important role mm -hmm. in the movie. And I thought you know, it was almost like, like her behind the scenes persona yeah. came through with that role in a way that the way that Shank fits into the story almost mirrors her effect mm -hmm. on, you know, young moviegoers out there. And yeah. I really liked that touch. And of course, we have to talk about the Disney princess scene. So <laughs> you guys so know, good. everyone's been talking about the Disney princess scene since they screened that scene yeah. at D23. I missed it. I was all sad. Everybody kept talking about it. And I thought, you know, the hype train was going to kick into high gear, too high gear. Yeah. And then I was going to be disappointed. That is hands down one of the best sequences I've seen mm -hmm. all year. I thought that was brilliant. And yeah, I know there's been a lot of questions out there. Is this movie just basically a big fat Disney marketing tool? Is it just name dropping Disney brands all over the place? And yeah, I'm not going to lie. There is a lot of that, but I thought it was so well woven into the story mm -hmm. and just the feeling of what it's like to explore certain things yeah. on the internet. And in this case, it just happens to be a bunch of Disney things, but it was all worked into it so naturally mm -hmm. and it all felt so satisfying that I thought it worked. Yeah, I thought it worked as well, uh, but it did, I didn't think it worked as well as the first movie. And I think uh, I think that's the thing when I come out of this movie. Is it a good sequel? Absolutely, thoroughly enjoyed it. I think Sarah Silverman is the person to listen to in this movie and watch. Her acting work, voiceover-wise, is phenomenal. It's incredible. It is levels higher than what she did in the first Wreck-It Ralph, and that's saying something. So that's a thing to watch. But yes, Perry, they're really, the right people got involved in this, had the right touches at the right mm -hmm. time to drop the cameos, to drop the references to everything. A good script overall, and I liked where it naturally went. Didn't have the same magic as the first movie, but hey, this is a different type of movie, and I like the guts they took, because this may surprise you, it's not necessarily Ralph's movie, and I liked that. I, I will agree with you. I'll also give uh, John C. Riley a little shout out for his mm -hmm. voice work, too. I was telling you before we even recorded this, there's one line in particular that it was so good it almost took me out of the movie because in that mm -hmm. moment, he, he basically just tells Vanellope at some point, but I'm going to miss you. And it's the way he mm -hmm. delivers it that all of a sudden I was kind of on, you know, I was on cruise control just enjoying the mm -hmm. adventure. But when he says that, all of a sudden I just felt overwhelmed, like like tears mm -hmm. welling up in my eyes. And I sat back and I'm like, that's damn good voice work. Yep. So yep. I was very impressed by that. All right. Time has come, Roka. Yep. What is your score for Ralph Breaks the Internet? I would get it, give it an eight and a half. I, I, I really enjoyed it to that level. Uh, and I, don't, I would love to have given it a 10. To me, the first record, Ralph, is a 10. So I'm judging it by that. And so I give it an eight and a half, in my opinion. I love when we agree. I'm giving it an eight and a half, too. I thought this was 
fantastic. I was so happy while I was watching it, and then mm. I felt so good after. This is just another one of those movies, and I say another one because I feel like we're getting a lot of them right now mm. that just are packed to the brim with positive, feel-good, inspiring messages. Yeah. And you know what? I love the feeling that those we movies leave with yeah, So uh, that's where my uh, 8.5 comes from. I think um, the only thing it might have lacked a little bit is here and there. It just felt like a little light, a little thin, yes. not as deep as maybe the first go around. Yeah. But I was, I was pretty happy with this one. <laughs> so there you guys have it, our non-spoiler review of Ralph Breaks the Internet. If and when you see the movie, hit that comment section below. Share your thoughts right there. And as always, don't forget to like and share this review. And keep an eye on the Collider Video YouTube channel because we might have more reviews coming for you real soon.